Another year gone by, another Pentagon audit failed. The Defense Department's taking a sizable chunk of your paycheck. However, it's unable to prove how it's actually spending those tax dollars. Tom Dempsey explains what auditors found or didn't find in its annual evaluation of the Pentagon's budget. Tom, you would think this much money, most Americans, we can't do anything about it, but we, sh we are demanding answers. A lot of money we're talking about here, Adrian. For the sixth year in a row now and counting, the Pentagon has failed its yearly audit. Look, the Department of Defense has around $4 trillion in assets. We're talking about weapons and other supplies. But this audit report found that around half of those assets can't be accounted for. Uh, federal government agencies face yearly audit audits as determined by federal law. And look, uh, the, the Pentagon, like I said, has failed six years in, in a row. According to the Department of Defense, the Pentagon passed seven of its 29 sub-audits this year. The Department of Defense makes up more than half of all U.S. discretionary spending, and auditing the Pentagon can be tough due to the department's size and scope. But with government spending continuing to be under a microscope as Congress works to pass a long-term deal and address the debt ceiling, criticism rolled in about this audit finding. Republican House majority Majority Whip Tom Ember posted to social media, quote, government agencies need to be held to the same standard as any business in America. This is unacceptable. Meantime, Alabama Republican Representative Barry Moore also posted to social media, writing, quote, the Pentagon receives a trillion dollars in taxpayer funds annually, but can't pass a simple audit. No wonder we're nearly $34 trillion in debt. In response to the audit findings, Pentagon staff recently said the results gave a big opportunity to improve. Take a listen. We're working on improving our process. Um, while it wasn't the results that we wanted, um, we certainly are learning each time an audit passes. And, uh, you know, it, it's, a continuing, it's a continuing and ongoing process that this building is assessing. We will note, too, that the same number of sub-audits failed last year as compared to this year. And now a group of Republican and Democratic uh, lawmakers are working on a proposal that would ensure that the Department of Defense passes its annual audit. Guys. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.